Growing up and attended Woodland Baptist Church with my parents, and it was a tradition that they would have a covered dish dinner. So when we were looking for a theme to run in the general election, the community united theme worked well, and the covered dish potluck dinner was a great idea. I'm just personally amazed at the uh, amount of food that has come out. So. Uh, we can have a round of applause for the uh, folks that did bring dishes for us. Hopefully it won't take long, but if uh, everybody filled out their tag, I uh, wanted to uh, thank Gail Money for bringing the cake and the deviled eggs. <laughs> Joan Healy for the hoagie tray. I was warned about how good this was at the fireman's ball, but uh, it lived up to all the expectations. The baked beans from the Martin family. <laughs> the Butkuses brought some chili for us. The Bennett family with the pasta salad. <laughs> and Sin and the Lynch family with the veal scallopini. <laughs> Sausage scallopini. I apologize if I mispronounced the last name. Gil Bafalmamundo with the Hawaiian chicken. Shirley Carroll with some deviled eggs. My mother and father, thank you very much for bringing the ham and cranberries. Mrs. Barry, thank you for the pastries. Miss Barbara Rolls with the macaroni salad. Miss Bonnie Deaver with the chicken tortilla soup. Dave and Danby, thank you very much for the pumpkin dip. The Harden family, thank you very much for the cake. The Sigda family, thank you very much for the kibasa. Bringing it all the way from Sussex County, a Sussex County, Delaware favorite, Miss Teresa Corcoran, thank you very much for the pretzel salad. <laughs> Miss Tina Sterling, thank you very much for the cupcakes. <laughs> Kelly Buckus, I know that I uh, kind of forced you into it because it's one of my personal favorites, but thank you very much for the string bean casserole. <laughs> Christine Cox, thank you very much for the chicken fajitas. <laughs> Francie Hallett, I have not had it yet, but I'm certainly going to get it now that I know it's up there, the cannoli dip. <laughs> thank you to the Jones family for bringing the dirt cake. Thank you, Christine Stewart, for the cookies. And I've been practicing this ever since I mispronounced her name for the Youth Aid panel. Thank you to the Groy family. The cookies. I said it correctly. So I am very, very proud to be the leader of the Reform Republican Party of Eddystone. And I'm proud to have campaigned both through the primary as well as now through the general election with these folks that are to my left. And I wanted to uh, recognize and introduce each one of those, give you an opportunity to just say a few words. But it makes perfect sense to me to have a retired police officer 
oversee our police department, which is the primary responsibility for being mayor. I am very proud to introduce the next mayor of Eddie Stone. And we were Uh, what I plan on doing, uh, you know, I was a uh, police officer for 23 and a half years. As mayor, I will be bringing back the bike patrol, like I said earlier. Um, and, uh, the mayor refused to do so, even after Borough Council voted to bring the bikes out for just two nights this past month for Mischief Night and Halloween to make sure our kids were safe on the, as they went out trick or treat on the streets. I will also help uh, any bar resident to the best of my ability, no matter who they are or whether they support me or not. I will be there for them if they need help. I will also get in touch with Delaware County Drug Task Force to uh, seek help with the drug problems in town. <laughs> and get the drug dealers off the streets. I will also uh, be seeking uh, grants and, and applying for them in hopes to get more cameras as so that the police can monitor areas that we are having problems with in uh, town with the drugs and other problems. Also, uh, Borough Council and I will uh, keep all activities that our children now enjoy and attempt to come up with more ideas for them along with activities for older kids. We will also keep all current programs such as the seniors meal around the holidays along with the meals for the needy families in town. Uh, we are, we are again uh, to our uh, employees, our non-uniform employees that we have. They're all a bunch of good, good people, and um, yeah, they're you know they're very dedicated to uh, serving our citizens. Um, we all of us together, we did evaluate their performances, and there will not be any need to uh, replace anybody. Everybody will have their jobs, you know, no matter what anybody else says. And I would like to thank everybody for coming out and their support uh, on Tuesday. Thank you.